from Light On, we've got the E BAU 108, the world's thinnest external DVD drive. That's right, only 220 grams. We're talking really 13.2 millimeters or 1.35 centimeters. Ultra slender, ultra chic, they say. Well, it's got a brushed uh, metallic type of finish on that black look and feel, which is nice, I guess. Slim, fits in your uh, pocket almost. It's so tiny. Uh, and really, I mean, who is using DVD drives these days? I use them when I plug them in externally because once in a while I use them. And this is great. Portable, take it with you, use it when you need it. Other than that, your desktop is nice and clean or your laptop doesn't need it. Here it is, you just plug in the uh, cable that it comes with, okay, so there's the uh, mini uh, USB connector, and that's all you need. It self-powers with the USB plug. To give you, a, again, an idea on how slim it is, there you go, my Hot Wheels car is that high, and you can plug this in, of course, to your laptop, desktop, or directly into a TV, that's right. Some new TVs now that uh, you can plug in an external drive, for example, to read pictures and videos and stuff like that, you can do the same thing with this light on EBAU 108. Now, when it comes to read and write capabilities, there they are. Okay, different types of uh, DVDRs, plus and minus, dual layer, or rewritables, and of course some additional features such as C2 errors, CD text, and layer jump recording. So a few things there available, but the main thing is you know being able to carry this. No additional power uh, adapters needed. Just plug it into your USB port, and away you go. Plug and play. Windows 8 ready, of course. Obviously, it'll work on a, on a Mac as well, so no need to worries there. And again, here are some read and write speeds that I did in Windows 7 64-bit to give you an idea on how well it performs. But really, here's the ultimate test. 4.1 gigs, basically, of video burned to a DVD. And um, so it's, it's an 8x um, DVD burner, right? So on average, it's going to fluctuate up and down. It's not going to be straight linear at 8x. So... 5.5x is what the average was, so that's about 7.5 megs per second on the right, and it topped off at 11 megs per second, basically, uh, when it reaches 8x, okay? So there you have it. Beautiful little drive from Light On. I'll add the latest pricing below. Comment. Let me know what you think. And again, I'd like to thank Light On for providing it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.